Hello. Last time we came, uh, we were planning for a rebound of risk assets in September, and then a new retracement into October. Now that we are end of September, we expect the push on risk assets to possibly continue another week or so, and following that, the retracement should materialize probably towards the fourth week of October. Towards year end, we're still very bullish on risk assets and reflationary assets. We'll look at it in more detail. So first of all, we look at the S&P 500 on this weekly chart on a FinGraphs platform. And you can see it's still in a bull. It's quite an extended bull. Our targets have been reached, but it's not yet in the overbought zone. So we believe that although it is quite expensive, it should continue up. And the perspective we have here is about two to four quarters, so possibly into the spring next year. Now looking at the daily chart, it is getting into the overbought zone. So we might be approaching an intermediate top. Our envelopes are also touching each other, pointing to a point of stress. Our targets are now impulsive two targets. That's our very extended targets. We believe they may be a bit aggressive at this stage, and that we'll possibly see an intermediate correction before we uh, resume uptrend to try and reach them. So at the moment, we believe we're nearing a point where we could see an intermediate correction. Now on the daily, we're not quite yet overbought. We've reached our targets, and we believe that the move over the next few weeks could possibly linger on, possibly into early October. Following that, we expect the retracement into the fourth week of October. To summarize, we have three bulls here, so it's quite a po positive picture. We're, we're positive over the long term into spring next year. We think there's probably an intermediate top coming early October, and our hourly could linger on a bit further over the next week or so. Now looking at Europe, uh, the picture is similar, but yet even more promising, uh, because Europe is still pretty much in the middle of the range. It's not yet overbought at all. And we think our impulsive targets could lead us possibly into the higher uh, 3000s, possibly into the lower 4000s. But well, that's quite a lot of potential we see towards next year in Europe. Now, since May, Europe has consolidated down on the back of a very strong euro. And since September, it has had quite a nice rebound. We believe that this rebound may retrace some during October. First of all, uh, because here we do have uh, a situation where our both our envelopes are touching each other again. And second of all, it's doing so while the envelopes are still slightly heading down. So expect some retracement into October before we could break out here and move up uh, according to our weekly chart. Now the early chart is slowly getting overbought. We can see that it, uh, it, our risk index is in the red and that our targets are pretty much reached. We could also see that our envelopes are touching each other. So here too, we expect a bit of lingering on during this week, but possibly an intermediate top materializing uh, towards the beginning of October. So if we look at all, all three charts together, we're still in three bulls, so that's quite positive. We're very positive over the medium to long term. Uh, we believe we're going to see some retracement uh, during the month of October, and our early chart has slowly reached its potential. Now, one of the reasons uh, behind this latest push on risk assets is oil. And we look at the three charts here, which are also in three bulls. And this is quite a, a difference uh, between now and the situation that we saw earlier this spring, where we were seeing a strong sell-off in oil. We believe that uh, this uh, chart here, the medium term, daily, has turned. It was oversold, and now it's moving up quite rapidly uh, towards targets, which we see uh, towards the end of the year, above 60 and possibly up to 65. Uh, the weekly is still in a correction up, and it has been since the beginning of last year, and it's pointing us to uh, 65 and above. And finally, the hourly, similarly to uh, the S&P and the Euro stocks, has uh, probably met at the end of its potential over the short term. It's pretty much exhausted here, uh, its risk index is overbought, so we would expect some consolidation also during the month of October. Our targets would possibly bring us back to this range here, where we've seen quite a lot of work uh, between the month of August. Now moving up to another driver, especially of the euro stocks, is the euro dollar. The euro dollar has been correcting up since late last year, and it is still in this correction up. And this correction up still has potential. It could probably lead us over the next 
quarter, uh, it is above its initial targets of 117 and could lead us up to possibly 124. Now the daily is slowly getting extended. It's not yet overbought. The envelopes are not quite touching each other, but it, uh, it is slowly getting towards its potential. We can see it made it above its initial targets at 117.70, and it could reach one more time, we believe, during October towards 122. The early chart is still bullish, but has been consolidating down, and we would expect it to resume its uptrend over the next week or so. Also here, the next target levels could lead us back above 120 and possibly up to 121.50. To summarize it, there's also three bulls here on the euro, and we expect a last move up here during October uh, for the euro dollar before it starts to possibly retrace into the end of the year. That would also possibly conclude this first leg of retracement up. Now looking at defensive assets, we look at gold. Gold is still uh, or back uh, in a downtrend. Uh, it had a strong overbought, oversold situation uh, at the end of last year and rebounded quite swiftly. We believe that it's now reaching again a stress on the envelopes and uh, that although there might be a slight, slightly more potential over the next month or so, it should begin to retrace towards the end of the year. Now the daily is still bullish and still shows potential possibly above 1350, possibly up to 1375. Uh, it's not quite overbought and we believe it's reaching a support zone which is important where uh, different tops were made earlier this year. So now during the month of October, we believe it will have one last attempt up, possibly towards its recent highs and possibly a bit above and then uh, we should start consolidating in line with the weekly. The early chart is, is showing us still in a downtrend. We're slowly getting oversold, but it's not quite over yet. And we could still see a sell-off below 12.80 uh, uh, before this retracement is actually over. And so we would see more pressure over the next week or so uh, before we could see this last extension up for gold. Finally, we look at dollar yen, which is often the opposite picture of gold. And what we can see is that it is in a very weak bullish mode where we don't see any targets, so quite a neutral situation. It had a strong push last year, but since it has retraced quite aggressively. This retracement, in our view, is possibly not quite over yet, although we're getting very, very oversold. The targets could lead us one last time below 110, uh, possibly over the next few weeks. Uh, the hourly has already started to bounce, but also here we believe this bounce is possibly uh, reaching the end of its potential uh, between 112 and 113.90. If we do make it above this, we will probably consider it a sell for a few weeks until uh, this daily chart could start to turn and confirm uh, the uptrend which had been in place at the end uh, of 2016. And that's all for this week and we wish you very good trading. Thank you.